did you know it's easier to float in salt water, like in the ocean, than it is in fresh water, like a lake or a pool? That's because not all liquids are created equal. They have different densities. This is fresh water, or it doesn't have anything in it. And this is sugar. If I was to put one scoop of sugar in this water and stir it around until it dissolves, now this liquid is more dense than before I put the sugar in. Here's an experiment you can do at home using liquid density. This glass just has regular water with yellow food coloring in it. This glass, green food coloring and half a cup of sugar in it. This one has a full cup of sugar in it and this one has two cups of sugar in it. Now when you do this at home, you'll definitely want an adult to help you because you have to heat the water if you want to dissolve that much sugar in one glass of water. I'm gonna put them all in one container. You can do this at home, and when you do, I suggest you use a very small container because you have to be very careful when you put the layers in. You can use a turkey baster or a straw. When you put your finger on top, the air pressure will hold the liquid in and you can just drop it in. But these kind of take some time, so I'm going to use the syringe of science. I'm gonna use the most dense liquid first because that's the one that's gonna want to be on the bottom. I carefully put it on the bottom of the container. The next layer, be very careful. And you'll see that the red and the blue aren't mixing because they have different densities. The blue is heavier than the red. We'll add the green. And you can see, even when it drips into the red, it comes back up to the top because the green liquid isn't as dense as the red liquid. And the denser liquids push the lighter liquid up. And now we're gonna add the yellow, which of course has no sugar in it at all. And there you go. All the layers stay separate. If you put it on a light, you can really see it. Liquid densities. Now, let's max it out. Ta-da! The longest length of liquid layers. 12 liquids all organized by density. Starting from the bottom, we have honey, corn syrup, chocolate syrup, maple syrup, dish soap, whole milk, water, dyed blue, vegetable oil, extra virgin olive oil, rubbing alcohol, baby oil, and lamp oil. Liquid density. I really, really want to mix it up, but it took me a long time to make this, so I'm not going to. Our first two attempts at a tinfoil boat haven't gone so well. Husnia's idea is to make a tinfoil boat and add some more structure, because the tinfoil just wants to collapse when I get in it. So we start with a large piece of cardboard on the bottom, then we wrap the tinfoil around it and shape it into a boat. After that, we add some supports across the top to stop it from folding in when we add my weight to it. This boat feels a lot stronger than the one I was just in. I told you. So how does all of this work? So we got some support using broomsticks, mm -hmm. and then some cardboard paper. And then underneath, we have cardboard. cardboard. And so how will all of this help the boat not sink with me in right. it? Right. The broomsticks will prevent it from folding this way, yeah. and you won't sink. Good. The cardboard will prevent it from folding this way, and you won't sink again. Not sinking is my favorite thing to do in the tinfoil boat. All right, so let's try it. Let's do now, it. Are you going to get in this one? I'll tell you what, Phil. If you get in and you don't sink, I'll go after you. Deal. All right. All right, here we go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's sort of working. Oh, no. Oh, no, water's coming in. It's sort of working. It's almost working. Coming in. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. Uh -oh. Oh, no, 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 Hold on, hold on. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Another thing I learned is that a very light tinfoil boat can be very heavy when it's full of water. I don't know if fixing it is in the cards. I think we, I think we're gonna have to build another boat. So what do you think we should do? Let's add more structure. More structure? Oh, yeah. What if we add, like, a metal rod around the outside, and maybe some more metal rods and ribs? 
and we wrap it all in tin foil and you think it'll work? Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Uh, don't worry about it, I've got this. No, I, I'll get it, I'll get Are you it. sure? Oh, you sure? Oh, 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 no, no, I'm, I'm serious. You may have a little brother or sister at home, which means you probably know where you can find some diapers. But there are two things you need to remember. First, ask an adult if you can use the diapers for your experiment. And two, only use unused diapers, okay? Okay. So, you take the diaper, and if you cut it, be very careful, maybe get an adult to help you, over some black construction paper, like I have here, and you shake the diaper over the construction paper, you'll see that there's a little powder that comes out. And this is the secret ingredient. This is super absorbent gel. What it does is it soaks up all the liquid, and diapers are full of them. And you carefully pour it into a plastic cup, like that. Now you can see I have already done it with a number of diapers. It's important to use a plastic cup because it's a little messy, although it's non-toxic, it's totally safe, but it's still easier to clean up by just throwing the cup away. Now, add some water, and what happens is this super absorbent gel absorbs the water and turns very quickly into a paste. Look at that. Now, let's max it out. Five kilograms of super absorbent gel, 500 liters of water, now, it is time to do science! <laughs> and I have my own stir stick. <laughs> yep, definitely coming along. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if we're getting anything on this camera, but I want to make sure it's recording. Yep, it's recording. There we go. It is definitely turning solid. Well, there you go. The giant super absorbent gel experiment. Corey, Trevor. Need some help getting out. <laughs> How many outfits have I been through in this episode? How many outfits have I been through in this episode? Anybody have a towel? There you go. Oh, thanks, buddy. That's that's great. No, 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 no. Husnia's idea of adding structure to the tinfoil boat was definitely right. We just needed to go further, so we did it again. This time, we made a much larger boat. We started with a sheet of cardboard, then wrapped the tinfoil around and added some metal supports taped to the cardboard across the boat this way to make ribs, as well as some other supporting pieces in the front and the back. Then another metal rod all the way around the top, and finally, supports across the middle. All right, feel how strong it is. I'm really excited about this version of the tin foil boat. What we did is we used thwarts, uh, a big hard piece of wood that we did last time, but this time we have ribs. Ribs, right, which are made of a cardboard, a metal rod attached to it, and... And shaped, and we did a whole bunch of them in the, goal, the whole length of the boat. And then we used all of this bendable metal, and we have one that runs all the way around the gunnels, and a whole bunch that run down the inside, and we even used bike fenders at the front and the back of the boat to give it super rigidity so that it hopefully won't go like all the other boats have done so far. Are you ready, Husnia? Let's do this. One, two, three, lift. All right, let me get over. It floats, but that doesn't tell us anything because they've all floated at this point. It's only when I... I get into it. Okay, here we go. Alright. Uh, 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 hey! Hey, it works! Alright. Oh, it's working! 
Ha ha ha! Look at that! It works perfectly! The tinfoil boat experiment has been done. Science Max, experiments at large. What do you think, Christina? The only reason I got into this boat is because I knew it's gonna work. Really? Oh yeah. So you knew you would never get wet. See, I don't think that's fair. I think it's time that you, okay, you that doing? you got wet. You I think we should no, go. No, no, I think no, you and I no, should just no, get no, wet no. right now. <laughs> just need someone help. You're still dry. Okay. That is so unfair. Science Max is a show where we take small experiments and do them big. If you want to try these experiments yourself, go to our website for instructions. But not all the experiments on Science Max are the kind you should try at home. This one, yes. This, no. Try this, don't try this. A big yes, a big no. I, I don't know how you could possibly do this one at home. And remember, if you're ever not sure, ask an adult. Thanks for watching Science Max Experiments at Large. Science! I don't know what you're saying. I don't speak treasure chest. The one thing I'm really trying not to think about is that this is the stuff that's in diapers. Let me talk to your brother. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't talk with your mouth full.